Are you wondering what the spring trends are gonna be for 2021? If we haven't met yet, hi, I'm Emily Benson. I'm a business consultant and mindset coach for boutique owners. That's all I talk about on this channel is how to start, grow, and scale your boutique business because let me tell you, 2021 is the year that boutiques are going to slam. They are going to be insane, off the chain, killing it this year. So stay here with me. I'm gonna tell you what spring trends you might think about addressing as we move into warmer weather. So first off, we know that last year was traumatic. That has totally affected how we dress. We wanna be in comfy clothes, and that doesn't mean we wanna be in sloppy clothes. We're kind of past the phase of being like in our sweatpants all day. Well, maybe not me, but <laughs> we're in fancy sweats. The main core to what you wanna to start to shop for for your boutique business is going to be comfortable, but still stylish, okay? That's so important. Women are stressed and they want to feel good, but they also wanna look good because it really does affect our confidence. How do we do that? Well, first and foremost is the dress. Dresses have always been a great spring and summer seller, but how are we making it more comfortable? How are we making it more simple for us to wear, for our customers to wear? Well, two big dress trends that are coming up for spring 2021. Number one is cottage core dresses. So what does this mean? These dresses are generally a woven material, so they're going to not have as much stretch in them, but they're oversized or they might have some stretch elements to them. So think about the nap dress, okay? This is a great example of something that has really taken off on Instagram, is really starting to hit mainstream America. You really wanna think about having this nap dress in your assortment if your people love a good dress. The idea behind these nap dresses, they're really feminine, they're really beautiful, but again, you can take a nap in it because it's comfy. <laughs> one of the biggest nap company dresses that's selling these is Hill House. They have one that's been all over the influencer game on Instagram, you've probably seen it, um, but I suspect these are gonna come out hardcore for boutique vendors very, very soon. Okay, the second dress that we're doing is the slounge dress. Yes, I said it, slounge. Think sweatshirt, lounge. The slounge dress can be a couple things. It can be a one piece dress or it can be a set, so a top and a bottom. We're thinking that most things are gonna be mid, midi sort of length, so around the knee, under the knee, nothing too short on this slounge dress. Okay. These are going to be easy to wear dresses. So again, things sweatshirt material, sweater material, something loose, something forgiving. We don't wanna look like a slob in our slounge dress. We wanna look good and we wanna be comfortable. So make sure if you sell dresses, this is where dresses are going right now. This is what people are gonna be wearing to barbecues, outdoor events, when things open back up this summer as they are starting to all over the country. This is what women are gonna wanna be wearing. is a really cute, comfortable dress that they feel absolutely gorgeous in. So let's talk graphic trends. We know that graphics are killing it across the board. Started with TikTok, started with this comfy lounge culture of having graphic tees, graphic hoodies. They are taking off, but let's talk themes. Let's talk graphic themes. One of the biggest graphic themes you are going to see happen this spring is gardening, wellness, outdoor themes, okay? This has been huge. Here's a great example. And you can see in the graphic, it has that gardeny, flowery theme. This is what's happening. There's such a hyper focus on wellness, and now it's starting to trickle in to clothing and to our graphics. It's all about going back to our roots. So another place you can kind of play off this gardening health and wellness idea, is starting to carry some self care items in your boutique. So maybe you have some sage, journals, mantra decks, affirmation cards, bubble bath items, bath salts, all this stuff. Self care is going to continue to be and have an upswing this year in 2020 because we are all concerned about taking care of ourselves because We've kind of been frazzled for the past year. What trends are you excited about seeing? What do you feel like your customers are gonna to wanna to see? Pop it down in the comments below. I do wanna let you know too, in all of my paid courses, 
We are, have access to one of the biggest trend uh, resources in the world. And what I do with that trend resource is I take it and I distill it and I give it to you guys as what should boutique owners care about. So that's everything from what are the actual print pattern color trends and I'm not talking about Pantone color of the year, I'm talking about actual proven all around the world trends that have been consolidated. And we even talk about graphics, uh, silhouettes, shapes, things that are really going to be trending. And this is all, again, based on worldwide information. This is not based on what vendor's selling what. This is fashion industry specific. So if you are in boutique world and you really want a cut up of, on the trends, Join my courses. We're the only people to have access to this that I know of, and I'm really excited to offer it to everyone in 2021. All right, last but not least, let's talk about the third major trend that we're seeing in 2021 is what we're calling hashtag work leisure. Yes, we are bringing leisure time into work, but we're wanting to feel more powerful. We're doing this whole above the keyboard dressing situation, meaning everything that you're seeing on my body right here is very important. So you're gonna wanna think about details like a puffy sleeve, a really beautiful neckline, maybe it's actually a necklace, an earring, headbands, all of this stuff that's hashtag above the keyboard dressing is really important going into 2021. So many people are still working from home. They're still doing a lot of stuff on the Zooms and the Microsoft Teams. You wanna be the person to dress them. This could even mean going and buying some really great power blazers that feel really fun. Maybe it's a print, maybe it's something really bold color. These are the things that people are wanting to wear right now. They're wanting to stand out on that black Zoom screen and you get to be the person to provide that. Okay, if I haven't said it yet, don't forget to like, subscribe, smash that like button. Honestly, you guys, the more you like and subscribe, the more I can hone in on my content, the more people will find me, the more I can become the go-to resource for you in growing and scaling your boutique business. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you enjoy talking about trends as much as I do. I'll see you right back here next week for some more tips and tricks about boutique land.